Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have over here the one and only Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette or the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. This came out last week and literally sold out in 48 minutes. I was legit shook. Like I was supposed to receive it, I think before the launch because um, I'm on the PR list. So whoever's on the PR list, they get it like before it's, it comes out. But Morphe was like a little bit late on that. Like everybody who was on the PR list, I think received it like this week or, or sometime last week. Even Kim Kardashian herself received it like four days after the launch. So I don't blame Morphe. I know they have a lot on their hands. But honestly, I'm just so glad Morphe sent this to me yesterday because I was like, bitch, as soon as I get this, I'm going to do a review and a sickening eye look. And um, I'm kind of happy with how this look came out. But yeah, enough rambling around and talking shit. If you guys want to know my first impressions, thoughts on this palette, and a tutorial on this eye look, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, so I already did one eye off camera just to test out the waters a little bit before I, you know, officially do the other eye. And I'm kind of digging it, so... Let's move on to the other eye. So I already did my brows and I already primed my eyelids with concealer. So now I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow. So to start off this look, I'm going to be dipping in this shade over here. It's a beautiful champagne -y metallic color and I'm just going to be applying this on the brow bone. Oh, bitch. This shade is gorgeous. This is the perfect brow bone highlight. Like literally, it's beautiful. Once you have that shade down, now I'm just going to be dipping in this shade over here. And I'm just going to be using this shade as my transition color. And then I'm going to be winging it out at the end. These eyeshadows are extremely blendable. Like, it's insane. Like, wow. Now the next shade I'm going to be going in with is this shade over here with a more smaller detailed brush. I'm just going to be focusing this underneath the transition color we just applied. And take your time with this because blending is key. And make sure you also wing out that eyeshadow as well. Once you have those two colors down packed, I'm just going to get a clean blending brush and I'm just going to be blending all of this out to make sure there are absolutely no harsh edges whatsoever. And now to darken things up, I'm just going to be going in with this shade over here. And I'm just going to be focusing this on the lid, but also blending it up to the transition color. And you're going to also wing that out. And make sure you always go back and forth with your transition colors. Make sure you add it back if you lose it. Because sometimes when you over blend, you could lose your transition color. So make sure you always add it back just in case. Guys, the, these I look at this. I honestly like besides Anastasia eyeshadows, I've never had this much like how do you, how do you explain it? Like blendability. I don't really know how to explain it, but like it literally like blended to perfection. Like oh, fuck, like it's so good. Like I'm not just saying. I don't even have a code with motherfucking Morphe, but I need to have one soon because bitch, you guys need to get this palette. Like. You need to get this palette. Like, I don't know what they did with the formula that, like, changed it. Like, I think they changed it or something because, not gonna lie, their eyeshadows were never this, this good. Like, this is good, bitch. This is beyond good. Okay, Morphe, I see you, girl. I see you. And then to make things even darker, I'm gonna go in with this shade over here and this shade over here mixed together. Not too dark, but a little bit darker than what we just applied. And with this pencil brush, I'm just going to be focusing this on the outer corner. 
I hope you guys could see it. There you go. This is just to make everything much more dramatic. Alrighty guys, now for the fun part, which is cutting the crease. I usually hate doing this because it's so, it's, it's sometimes it's hard as fuck. So I'm gonna try. So I'm just gonna clean this up with concealer. Alrighty, so I cut the crease. I'm gonna be blending this out and setting it off camera and I will be right back. Alrighty guys, so this is the base that we have. Um, Honestly, they don't look the same because I think I, just don't look at this eye. I'm obsessed with how this eye came out. So I'm gonna be talking like this most of the time because this eye came out so bomb, but this one's like a little bit janky. So sorry about that. So moving on to the lid, I'm gonna be going in with the same color that we used on our brow bone and I'm just gonna be applying that on the inner corner of our lid. You guys, this shade is gorgeous, holy fuck. And now the next shade I'm gonna be using is this pinky shade over here and I'm gonna be focusing this on the center of my lid. And then only a little bit on the outer corner, I'm gonna be using this darker shade over here. I'm gonna be winging that out. I'm literally just putting like a little bit of that shade. Alrighty guys, so that is the look for the eyes. Now I'm gonna do my wing liner. Where the fuck is my wing liner? So I'm going to be doing a wing today, and for my wing, I'm going to be using the Tardiest um, double-ended liner thing. It's like a liquid liner, and then it has like a, another end to it. Um, and I couldn't find my next liner, so I'm going to try this out. And, yeah. Alrighty guys, now I'm going to clean up that liner with some concealer. Alrighty guys, so that is basically the eyes done. I'm going to fix this a little bit, but I'll do that after. And now I'm going to move on to the lower lash line. So now for eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Sigma Peacock Liner. It's like a blue, um, it's like a dark blue gel liner. So I'm going to apply this on my waterline. Oh, I hate doing that. It literally bothers so much. And now to smudge that out, I'm going to be using this dark, deep blue shade over here. I know it's kind of metallic and not matte, but I'm just going to try it out. And I'm just going to be applying this on top of the eyeliner to blend it out. And now to blend that out, I'm going to be using this turquoise shade over here. And I'm just going to be applying this underneath the blue we just created. Then I'm just going to be blending that out with a clean blending brush. Girl, look at that. Oh, oh bitch. Alrighty, so I'm going to do the other lower lash line off camera, pop on some mascara, and I will be right back. Alrighty guys, so lashes are on. These are from Black Magic Lashes. I'm going to be putting the name down below because I honestly did forget. I added some Sovarsky crystals here, here, and then four here, four here. I'm super extra, like, girl. <laughs> like, I've never met anybody more extra than myself. 
But yeah, so now let's move on with the rest of my face. Alrighty guys, so I already did my face off camera, like I cream contoured and found, put foundation and like powder and everything. So I'm just going to be bronzing up my face and for that I'm going to be using Hoola Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics. Now I'm going to cut the cheeks to make sure everything is snatched and gorgeous. I'm going to dust off all this big. I'm only going to use a little bit of this blush by Anastasia, Berry Adore, only a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit, just to give me a teeny bit of color, like I only want the slightest. A little bit on the nose. Now I'm going to spray my face for highlight. For highlighter today, I'm going to be using the Nicole Guerrero Highlighter Palette. Um, mine's beat the fuck up, as you can see. So, yeah, I'm going to be using Forever Young and Glow Getter. Alrighty guys, so now I'm highlighted for the gods, as usual, and now I'm going to be doing my lips, and for lips I'm going to be lining my lips with the MAC Lip Liner in Plum. Oh my god, guys, I, I never line my lips ever, and I'm obsessed. Like, I think I'm going to start lining my lips because I always have issues with my fucking... I always have issues with my fucking lips. Like, it's always an issue. I don't understand, and now I know why, because I never line my lips. So, like, I got a huge PR package from MAC, and they sent me... Like, if you don't know, I posted it on my Snapchat and Instagram because I was fucking freaking the fuck out. They sent me literally almost their entire collection of lipsticks and i was dead on the floor like literally laganja extranja dead drop dead on the floor because that shit was so big and i got so many things and i got a lot of lip liners so thank you mac for hooking it the fuck up because now i'm gonna be lining my motherfucking lips all the time next i'm gonna be using um topped with brandy i think topped with brandy retro matte liquid lipstick by mac as well Wow, I am legit obsessed. Like, obsessed. And then in the center of this, I'm going to be using uh, Burnt Spice Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick as well. Just to give my lips a little bit more dimension and just to lighten it up a little bit. And now for gloss, I wanted to do a gloss lip today. I'm going to be using Ransom by Morphe. This, it's a beautiful, it's one of my favorite lip glosses right now. Well, no, actually I haven't tried it. There's one that looks just like this and it's so beautiful. So I'm just going to be applying that on my lips. These Morphe lip glosses are so pigmented, guys. Like, super duper pig. Oi. Alrighty, guys. So, I seriously didn't know how pigmented these Morphe lip glosses are. They're extremely pigmented. So, basically, everything that I did before was for nothing because the lip gloss itself, I could have just used it on its own. But, whatever, whatever. It's all good. But, yeah, guys. This is the completed look. Let me take this thing off. Hold up. I really need to do my hair, guys. Like, my hair is a huge mess. Alrighty, guys. So, I quickly did something to my hair because it was literally a fucking mess. So, sorry. But, yeah. um, I am literally so happy with how this look came out. It is more on the dramatic side 
because girl your girl over here does dramatic looks all the fucking time so you know it's like kind of like my thing but um if this isn't for you then obviously you shouldn't watch this video or there's many other videos out there that beauty gurus have done with this palette that have been more or less dramatic so if you want to look for a less dramatic look you know go on to another video because this is not it but yeah i am so happy for jacqueline hill and morphe for this collaboration honestly it is an amazing palette like i'm not just saying that because it, this got sent to me i'm saying this out of literally like from using it it's so fucking good it's literally one of their best palettes they've have ever come out with i'm legit obsessed and i think you guys should go get it i know right now it is completely sold out but they will be restocking soon but yeah basically my final thoughts on this palette is that it's completely a hundred thousand percent worth it and i'm obsessed but yeah i want to thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you have any other ideas that you want me to do anything that you have in mind let me know down below and i will get to it as soon as i can my instagram and twitter is morphine love mua and my snapchat is morphine love i will be putting all of that down below i love you guys so much and stay safe oh i whistled bitch let me do that again <laughs>